Hi friends, welcome back to Road Jess Travel, where budget travel doesn't have to suck. Today we are talking about eight amazing national parks to see on the East Coast. Putting this video together, I learned a lot. I did not know that Florida was considered the East Coast. It's also considered the South, so I didn't realize you can be both in the East Coast and South, but I guess that makes sense because it's kind of Southeast. So there's gonna be a few from Florida on here. Florida actually has some great national parks. As a traveler, I have spent years figuring out how to travel cheaply while still having a blast. And every Sunday, I am passing that knowledge on to you. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Fun fact, Great Smoky Mountains gets at least twice as much traffic as any other park in the country. There are hundreds of different types of native trees, there's tons of amazing wildlife, and as a result, this park has been named an International Biosphere Reserve. Despite it being an amazing and unique national park, they actually don't charge a cent in admission fees. So I know I said a lot of people visit every year. If the idea of mass amounts of people freak you out, not to worry, it is busy, but the park is 522,000 acres big. So plenty of space to get lost and get away from people. But don't get lost in terms of like not being found. Get lost in terms of like experiencing nature and doing maybe offbeat hikes and longer hikes and stuff like that. So the Cape Cod National Seashore is pretty much the opposite of Great Smoky Mountains because it is only 40 miles long of beach. Despite it being smaller and a beach, there's still a lot to do. There's hikes, you can sunbathe, you can see wildlife in the beach, you can drink, I don't know, whatever people do at beaches, it might not be legal to drink. Don't quote me on that. It's a beach. You go there to relax and enjoy the scenery. So beach people, this one's for you. Take it this way. JFK loved it so much, he decided to turn it into a national park. So if it's good enough for JFK, it's good enough for you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Right on the coast of beautiful Maine, Acadia is the first national park on the East Coast. If hiking to certain locations and seeing the sights that way isn't really for you, maybe you don't feel like being active on your vacation, I get it then this is a great option for you because most of the sites can be seen by driving the 27 mile park loop road. There are some biking and hiking options for you, or you can just go for a nice cruise. Now 20% of the park is considered wetland, so at low tide you might even see some rockweed, sea cucumber, blue mussels, or even starfish. So who doesn't love a historic drive? If you're in DC, just 75 miles away, is Shenandoah National Park. Here you will find over 200,000 acres of land that's bustling with wildlife, wildflowers, waterfalls, and woods. It's a lot of W's for a sentence. You might even see some black bears, as Shenandoah has the densest population of black bears in the country. If you're interested in hiking the Appalachian Trail, you will find 100 miles of it in Shenandoah. If, like I said before, you're more of a ride in the car person, there is a 105 mile road called Skyline Drive that's very scenic. If you're up for a three hour drive, there's some gorgeous sights to see. You won't regret it. If uh, that sounds a little too daunting, you can always do part of it. Either way, you'll be glad you did it. The Everglades are a huge wetland. And by huge, I mean it is one and a half million acres. Obviously to see the park, you're gonna need to either go on a boat tour, rent a kayak, or do some snorkeling. There are some walks and trails that you can do around the water too. I will say, while many people love traveling in the summer, I highly recommend you avoid going here in the summer because you know who also loves it in the summer? Mosquitoes. Of course, it's humid there in the summer again, so that's not great either, but oh my God, mosquitoes. It's, <laughs> mosquitoes love it, I'm sure. It's 1.5 million acres of still water for them to just lay eggs in. Horrible. I hate mosquitoes. Just avoid. Avoid in the summer. So another Florida one. What can I say? They've got some great parks. There's one more coming up, so don't get too tired of Florida yet. Dry Tortugas is an amazing park that is about 70 miles off the coast of Key West, so it's super remote and super calming. I talked about Dry Tortugas in this video, which went over lesser known national parks, and for good reason. This is an amazing national park. It is about 70 miles off the coast of Key West, so you will need to either take a ferry, a seaplane, or your own chartered boat, which if you're watching a video on a budget travel channel, I'm guessing you don't have one of those. 
At the park, you'll find Fort Jefferson, which is a fortress that they actually started to build in the 1800s and never actually finished, but it was used as a prison during the Civil War. It is a small park, but there are some things to do there. You can camp there, you can snorkel, you can dive, you can just sunbathe. You might even see some amazing birds there too. About 30 miles south of Miami, Biscayne is another national park that you've got to boat out to, but it is so worth it. You can even go on a ranger-led canoe trip that takes you through mangroves. Imagine how amazing that would be. There's also some great opportunities to snorkel and scuba dive around one of the longest coral reefs in the world. The reef is actually over 220 miles long and stretches from Dry Tortugas to Biscayne. You might even see some stingrays or jellyfish or sharks or even manatees along the way. The Congaree, which is about half an hour from Columbia, boasts 22,000 acres of gorgeous forest. The Congaree River running through creates little what they call oxbow lakes, which is when the river kind of meanders through and it creates these little like U-shaped lakes. Are we getting a little in the weeds here? You might be. Or should I say the marsh? My whole point is that uh, you can do some kayaking there. It's a great place. It's got water, it's got land, forests, everything you need. So those are some national parks that you really don't want to miss out on if you're in the area. Now I want to hear from you guys. Are you planning on traveling to national parks in 2021? If so, what do you want to check out? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. That would help me out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, join the party. It's fun over here. I post new videos every Sunday, so I will see you next week. Happy travels.